welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing a long-awaited review and that is of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I ordered this a couple weeks ago. I ordered it on a Wednesday and it got here on a Tuesday so it took about six days to get here. Um, I paid $38 for this. Um, it comes with 35 shades like a standard Morphe palette. A standard Morphe palette ranges from about $23 so this is about a $15 price difference. Um, you can get this off of Morphe's website and off Ulta's website. Um, and in some select Ulta stores, Ulta just started carrying Morphe, which I was kind of excited about. Morphe isn't like my favorite brand that I order from. Um, but the good news is if you order it off Morphe's website, you can get a coupon code from probably about half of the YouTube industry. Um, Morphe definitely got really big off of social media, definitely by some of these bigger YouTubers promoting it. Their biggest hit, I think, was the 35O palette, which I own 35O s and I don't own the original 35O because I feel I have both the shimmer formula and the matte formulation on the 35O. I don't need it. So anyway, yeah, so that's a little bit about Morphe. Morphe is private labeled. Um, basically, that means they can take, they take somebody else's product and slap their name on it and claim credit for it. Some people are very picky about that. Some people aren't. This isn't about the brand, this is about the product, so push all feelings aside about Morphe. Um, I know sometimes I can get annoyed, like, basically, with the coupon codes, it really gets on everybody's nerves. So, yeah, you can definitely find a coupon code from any YouTuber. It does get annoying when they do push it, so they really need to make a coupon code that says, yes, it is annoying, and use that at checkout. So, anyway, this is what the palette looks like. It is just a standard white cardboard. Um, I don't mind it being white, actually, because if it's cardboard, I can easily wipe it off versus they have one that most of Morphe's packaging is black plastic with a latch. This is magnetic closure. The magnetic closure seems to be pretty sturdy. I do prefer the click closing palettes because I feel like it's going to stay closed when I travel and I do not have to worry about it accidentally flying open and destroying the product. So this comes with 56.2 grams, which equals about a total of 1.6 grams per pan. Um, the ingredients aren't listed on here. If you are picky about the ingredients, you need to keep the box. I know they do contain talc and mica, which is present in a lot of shadows. So anyway, this has a shelf life of 12 months. This was made in China, but it is distributed by Morphe, which they are located in Burbank, California. So, on the back, it just says her 35 dream colors. These are new shades to Morphe. Jacqueline handpicked these shades herself. Um, and it's not like her other palette, which was like Jacqueline's favorite shadows, which she took some of Morphe's shadows and put them into a separate palette. These are shades she picked herself. So, on the back, it just has all the different colors, all the different names. I don't know if Morphe is all of a sudden doing shadow names, because I know on my 35 O S and M palette, I didn't have any names that came with it. Um, I know this is from Ulta, and I know Ulta lists the names on the back. If you order it from Morphe, do not be, sh like, surprised or scared if you don't see your shadow names on here. They come with, like, a little pamphlet that you stick in the palette that has all the names. Personally, I'd rather have them on the back because I lose pamphlets really quickly. I didn't keep the box. The box just looked like the palette and had some pictures of Jacqueline and some, like, little saying or stuff like that. Nothing to, like, go... Like, nothing worth keeping. <laughs> um, basically, this palette, the story behind this is this was supposed to be released the holiday of last year. Um, but Jacqueline said she was not happy with the end result of that palette. And so she kind of started all over and redid this. And that it kind of explains why there is a big price difference. She said each shadow is pressed differently and it is a diff different formula compared to standard Morphe shadows. So, anyway... We're going to open it up. Just on the inside, it just says, this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers, XO Jacqueline. A lot of people were complaining that there was not a giant mirror in here. I hate to be rude, but newsflash, none of the Morphe palettes do as far as I know now. This one is a year old, so they may have started adding a mirror in them. As far as I know, some of my friends have ordered from Morphe recently, and none of the palettes came with mirrors. So I wasn't too upset that there was no mirror. I have plenty of palettes that have really nice mirrors. So I was not upset and that kind of also cuts back costs. So looking in this palette you get a wide range of everything. This is actually a fairly unique palette. I really do not own like anything in like this in my collection. I don't own a palette except for like my 
chocolate bar, chocolate gold palette has like maybe one pop of color. Here you're getting four little pops of color in the corner, your standard pops of color, blues, purples, and stuff like that. You have a wide range of neutrals, you have some little pink colors, you have warm tones, your bottom rows cool tones. Really, really, really nice. And it actually comes with a matte black. I was really surprised. Like, the only Morphe palette that I've seen right now that has the matte black is 3502. So, basically, you're also getting a wide range of finishes. You have some metallics. You have a couple satins. You have a duochrome. Um, and you also have some of your shades that have micro glitter in them. Um, she basically said on the ones with the micro glitter that are in them, you need to apply it with a wet brush or with your finger. Um, because when I did try to, I'm not going to do brush swatches because there's 35 colors in here and we'll be sitting here all night. Um, but she said you need to use a brush and when I did play around with those glitter shades, it does apply better with your finger. It did okay with the wet brush, but the finger got its full, opa full opacity or opacity, however you say that. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump into swatches. I have no primer on the back of my hand. I try to clean up my hand as much as possible. Because I was swatching, doing some swatches of a new palette that I just purchased. So I'm going to kind of clean that off with just some makeup remover. Um, I'm just using some lo makeup removing lotion. I really don't like the lotion because it kind of, whenever I do make a mistake on like my face or something, it moves, like it I know it's going to wipe off a little bit of foundation, but I feel like it moves my foundation around. Like the parts that aren't supposed to be getting wiped off. And anytime I try to like put any more makeup on it, like to redo my mistake that I made, it definitely makes it go on a little bit patchy so I do not like this at all but I'm using it up so we're gonna go ahead and start with the first three shades we got in light beam and silk cream and light and beam kind of look the same to me but if you look closely one has more yellow undertones and one's a little bit more frosty so this is in light and beam in silk cream she basically said the reason why she made two cream shades that look almost the same is it's to help with undertones because some cream shades are a little bit lean more pink, some lean a little bit more yellow. She wanted to have both in there so everybody can use this and not have to worry about a cream shade looking bad or looking good on them. Next we got MFEO. I think the next shade is Faint and Sissy. MFEO is from I think Sleepless in Seattle. Sissy feels kind of chunky. Sissy is the duochrome in this. It is a pink with a gold shift. So we have MFEO, Faint, and Sissy. Uh, if you're looking for a dupe of Sissy, I actually know the Sweet Peach kind of has a color like this. And I know my Carly Bible palette is. Sweet Peach is definitely more expensive. Carly Bible palette is a lot cheaper than both of these. Next we got Little Lady, Cream Sickle, and Butter. So that is Little Lady, Cream Sickle, and Butter. Little Lady applies really nice, definitely very pigmented, one of the nicer metallics in this palette. Um, next we got Pooter, which is a family in Shady Joke. Pooter had a little bit of a kick up in here. Pukey, Pukey feels a little bit gritty than the rest of the mattes. And then we got Hunts, and Hunts feels a little bit dry. But that's no big deal, she said each shade's pressed differently so you can get the full impact. And I'm going to tell you right now, you do get a lot of impact from these shades. So we got Pooter, Pukey, and Hunts. Both the, All of these swatch really nicely and apply really nice on the eye. They blend out like a dream. Very nice and very little to no fallout from these. Next we got Firework, Queen, and I think Obsessed. Obsessed looks like it has a little bit of glitter in it. We got Firework, Queen, and Obsessed. I'm in love with the shade Queen. It is beautiful with those reds, and I think it would look really pretty with that purple. I've yet to play around with a lot of the brights in here. I've swatched them and kind of like try to create a look with them, but I have to go to work and I don't want to walk around with bright blue eyeshadow to work. Next we got SBN, which stands for Smoky But Natural. So it's the perfect smoky eye color. Hillster and Roxanne. Oh, Hillster kind of got, ignore how close those are put together. So we got, I think, Hillster? What is it? I'm terrible at this. SBN. SBN, Hillster, and Roxanne. Roxanne's kind of like a brick red color. It kind of looks more brown on the camera, but it's more of like a brick red. 
really pretty with all these reds. She has a lot of red tones in here. I feel like this palette definitely leans more towards red tones. But she also has to appeal. Red tones are very in right now. So that's always that. Next we have Jax. Jax definitely feels really gritty. It kind of reminds me of one of the colors, the texture of one of the colors from the subculture palette. I think it's Axis. We have Jax, Buns, and Crayon Apple. Buns is so soft. And these shimmers, they feel like they're going to apply, like they feel creamy. Like they feel almost have a wet feeling to them, but they apply like a powder. So we got Jax, Crayon Apple, Jax, Buns, and Crayon Apple. So very, very pretty shades. I love the shade. I think it's Jax. Yeah, Jax. I love the shade Jax. I love using that in my outer V. So we're going down to the pops of color. We got Royalty. Twerk. Twerk is a very interesting color to me. And Hustle. Um, Royalty definitely has a little bit of glitter in it. Twerk and Hustle. Twerk is very interesting. It looks like it's blue in the pan. And some days when I look at it and swatch it, it looks almost purple to me. Like it has like a shift, a little bit of a shift to it. Kind of leans purple. The purple in here is amazing. It's not too pink, not too blue. It is the perfect purple shade. So we got Meeks 24-7 in Chip. 24-7 feels very gritty, and there is definitely a lot of glitter in 24-7. It feels very gritty. Like, you can feel the glitter in it. So we got Meeks, 24-7, and Chip. So 24-7 is definitely going to be one of those shades. If you really want the glitter to pop, I would recommend using your finger and also applying a glitter glue or just do one or the other. I always do a glitter glue with, like, really, really shimmery shades, and it definitely makes a big impact. Hence, when I do my review on this, I'll be recommending that. So next we have Mocha, Pool Party, and Jada. Jada is named after her niece. By the way, I got that information off of her release video. I will link that down below. So we got Mocha, Pool Party, and Jada. I love the shade Pool Party. If you want a dupe, if you just want that shade and don't want to spend $38, a good dupe I think is Endless Sea by L'Oreal. It's in their little infallibles. I paid $6.99. So we got Diva, Enchanted, and Central Park. Enchanted is this beautiful olive green color. These kind of feel a little bit dry. They're not as creamy as some of the other shades are. So we got Diva, Enchanted, and Central Park. So some of these are a little bit drier than the other ones, and they're a little bit... The, the pigmentation's on point, but I feel like you have to like press a little bit harder to get some of the pigment out. That's just my opinion and my experience with these. Next is Soda Pop. Soda Pop has kind of like that gritty texture like I think, I think, what is that shade called? Jax. It has like that same kind of texture like Jax and so does Abyss. So Soda Pop and Abyss. Soda Pop is just a perfect little eggplant shade. Almost leans black but it, you can definitely tell it's not black. It's kind of like an offset black. But that black is really, really nice. Like, you have to use the slightest amount to get pigment. So, those were all the swatches from this palette. Um, I definitely do recommend this palette. I'm going to kind of talk about my experience with it. Um, I really feel like I do not have to grab any other palette to use this palette. Like, this is definitely a palette that can stand on its own. It's not like I'm kind of going into a little bit of, like, a little sneak peek. It's not like the chocolate gold where I have to, like, pull in my Naked Ultimate Basics or just pull in my Elf Mad for Matte or any other palette. Like, I feel this palette stands on its own. You have your neutral shades. You have your transition shades. You have your brow bone highlight. You have a wide range of inner corner highlight from pops of color to standing neutrals. You have your smoky eye colors. You have your dark lid. You have everything you need in this palette. Um, with a primer, these last for a good... I, get, I usually do my makeup around like 11 o'clock in the morning and I get off at 10.30 and they still look vibrant. No creasing. I don't have any of the glitter falling down underneath. When I apply it, I literally had no fallout from these. The only one I maybe did was Jax, but Jax kind of is a really, really crumbly shade. It has that like gritty feeling and you can definitely tell this is going to be a shadow with fallout. Very, very, very minimum fallout from this. 
Um, the glitter shades, they work really, really nice. I used my finger or I applied glitter glue. The glitter showed up really, really nice. You could tell there was glitter in them. Um, the colors, the shimmers and metallics applied perfect with the brush. Uh, the mattes barely even had to blend them. Like, I could literally, they blended for themselves. I just used the fluffy brush. I may have to go over on some of the darker shades because there was a little bit of skipping, but that's normal. It's probably my brush. My brush is kind of pokey. So I just took, I think, my Luxie 217 brush and blended out the edges, and it was perfectly fine and went on my way. This palette, I feel, is great. This definitely appeals for all skin tones. It can go for the lightest skin shade to the darkest. We'll love this palette. There's colors for everyone in this palette. These colors will look great on everyone. And I feel this is a palette great from somebody who just decided to wake up one day and put on makeup to the most experienced makeup artist. This palette is great. Um, definitely a lot better than my other Morphe palettes. Um, I have to say this is probably Morphe's best palette from what I have seen and seen reviews on. So it's definitely, I can definitely tell why she increased the price. I know some people were so upset saying they weren't going to purchase it in protests for rising makeup, raising makeup prices. I definitely can see why she raised the price on these. Each shade you can tell has a different formula. Some of the medium to like lighter mattes had a really, really nice, soft, buttery feeling. Some of the darker mattes were a little bit harder, a little bit grittier, and a little bit drier. But I can see why. They had, they packed a punch. They had the pigment. So do I recommend this palette? Absolutely. I absolutely recommend it. I would definitely, I think it's still in, it's still in stock on Ulta. I'm not sure on Morphe's website. Um, do be aware if you do decide to order this palette today. Um, Ulta even sends you an email letting you know, and I think some people had some issues with Morphe shipping, like it's taken about two weeks to get here. Um, it is the holidays, so shipping times are going to be a little bit delayed, but I definitely do recommend this palette, gifting it to someone. It is so nice, and I have been loving it. I definitely find myself reaching for it almost every single day to use it just because it's so quick. I don't have to go dig for a single shadow or dig for another palette to compliment a palette. I feel like all I have to do is just grab this palette, sit down, put some eyeshadow on it, and go on my go on my merry day. So yes, I do recommend this and it has been a dream to work with this palette and I definitely can see why it's hyped up and everybody's recommending it. Everybody's posting all holiday glam looks because this palette is good for all seasons. I can see me using it in the summer with that pool party shade, Jada, all those different colors. It is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful palette. So definitely if you are interested in this palette, like end your interest and get it. It is wonderful. Um, so yeah, this is my final look. My final, final look, final review on this palette. It is great. Um, I will be trying to post more after the holidays. Um, my next review is going to be on the Naked Basics. I'm going to try to start a series. If, if it's on sale, is it worth it? Like, is there a reason why it's on sale? This is, it was, was 50%, I think it still is 50% off at Ulta because when I went in there, it was at the, after the 11th and it was sitting in a, a display still. So I believe this is currently still 50% off at Ulta and it's going to be the first one I do my series on. It is the Naked Ultimate Basics. Um, I also have been trying some new face products. I will try to do like an updated face routine to show you guys. Uh, I recently just picked up this little guy here and I'll be giving my thoughts on that and comparing it to some of the other chocolate bar palettes I had. And I also need to do a review on this weird thing, a lip palette from Anastasia that I recently just picked up. Um, so yeah, if you guys like these type of videos, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate y'all's thumbs. As Thomas Halbert likes to say, they help me out. Um, if you aren't, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You'll be entered into my giveaway once I hit 50 subscribers. And if I do not see you guys before Christmas, um, have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, um, and happy, yeah, happy holidays and everything. So yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!